Hello, parents and students. Welcome to my academic learning strategies class. Um, this is Miss Goodwin, and I'm going to go ahead and start with introducing myself and then the class. So a little bit about me. Um, I'm also the head coach um, for girls soccer here at Baldwin um, for high school, and I am the JV head coach for volleyball and as well as the assistant for varsity. Um, this October 2nd, I will be getting married, so my name will be changing to Miss Pittman. And also, I just have a super cute dog named Trinity. So the purpose of this class, um, the description of what this class is, is to help students with disabilities of any sort um, to acquire and generalize strategies and skills across academic, community, and employment settings to achieve annual goals based on their assessed IEP. Um, the class time is divided into rotations to provide students the opportunity to get help with homework assignments, testing accommodations, and lessons and strategies for independent learning and living. So what that looks like on a regular basis is we will have what's called station rotations and students will find assignments that they need to complete from their core classes or their other classes aside from mine and they will spend their time working on those and if they have questions I will assist them with whatever they need. Students are expected to come to class prepared with the required materials. Um, you can find these materials on the syllabus. The students are also to bring any assignments from their other classes that they need assistance on or that needs to be completed. All students are required to respect the needs of fellow classmates so that the class environment is conducive to learning. At the end of the period, students are to stay in their seats until um, they are dismissed in a way that still maintains the social distancing. And also just main thing is there is zero tolerance policy for plagiarism. So for them copying any of their friends assignments or finding it on Google, whatever it may be. There is not a tolerance for plagiarism. So how this class is graded, um, we're using the regular scale of um, 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B, 70 to 79 is a C, and 60 to 69 is a D, and lastly anywhere from a 0 to a 59 is an F. And so this class will have two different types of grades. Um, there is participation, which is within the station rotation phase, um, and that is 85% of their overall grade and then there is classwork or the nine week exam which is only 15 percent of their grade so their main focus in my class is working on um, station rotation grades which is again working on assignments from their other teachers they have a lesson roughly once a week um, sometimes two a week depending on how everyone's grades are if everyone's doing really well and they have all like passing grades then we can do a little more lessons because they have time to spare but if we have kids who are constantly struggling, struggling in classes, then we do make sure we give them time to get their work done. And that's where you'll see the station rotation grades come into play. For my contact hours, um, the best time to reach me is during my planning periods, which is anywhere from 7.15. I put p.m. on there. Those are supposed to be a.m. I'm so sorry. 7.15 a.m. to 8.12 a.m. or 12.17 a.m. Uh, p.m. to 107 p.m. So the first one should be a.m. The last two should be p.m. And then anywhere from 2 to 2.30 p.m. So again, 7.15 to 8.12 a.m. is my um, planning period. That's the first period. And then again, 12.17 to 107 is another planning period. So during those times is the best time to either call or um, email me, and I will be on my computer able to check and get back to you right away. Um, or 2 to 2.30, and after 2.30, I will be going on to volleyball practice, so it will be later that night before I'm able to get a hold of you. But again, those are my best hours to reach me. Um, during the Learning Strategies class, they will be um, provided tutoring, which is with myself, um, to make sure they are understanding and getting their assignments completed. Um, and they're also just making sure they're using their time wisely to get their assignments done. So since my class is kind of set up like a study hall per se or tutoring, um, we don't have ex extra tutoring for my class because all that time is done within the period. Um, so we just have to make sure that they're using the time that they are given very wisely with them when they're in my class period. For makeup work, how that works is if a student misses however many days they miss that's how many days they are allowed to make up any assignments again my class doesn't have a lot of assigned assignments sometimes we will have class notes 
Um, so if they're, for example, today is a note day. So if they were to miss today, they would have, um, if they miss one day, they would have a day to get it done. Um, so just how many days they miss is how many days they have to get it done. And all my PowerPoints for class notes are uploaded on focus. So if they do miss it, they can go at home, they can pull it up and then take notes off of it. And if they show me their notebook, I will give them credit for the notes that they have missed because notes are a grade. And if it's turned in on time, they will be received full credit. They're not going to get um, marked off because they were absent because who knows why they were absent. That's not their fault. Um, so as long as they turn it in, um, they can get full credit as long as it's turned in on time. And if they do have that extended time on the IEP, then obviously I will honor the, I, the extended time and give that will be their deadline past the extended time. So that is all I have um, talking about my class. Um, if you do have any questions or any concerns with your child or their grades in their other classes, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can email me. My email is goodwina at duvalschools.org, and I'd be more than happy to um, assist you with whatever problems you're having. Um, again, every day I'm in there and I'm checking their grades. I'm asking them what the, if they have anything to work on, if they need help with anything. So if you see students are getting zeros um, for class periods, it's because they're honestly just not working. I even write notes and just let them know. Um, I leave notes for you to see why they're receiving the grades they're receiving. So if they aren't working on anything and they're refusing to work and I constantly am redirecting them and telling them what to work on, then that's why you'll see the zero. But students grades should be improving with my class as long as they're using the time wisely and using the resources given to them. So again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at goodwina at duvalschools.org. Thank you.